Hi, it's Mike with AskTractorMike.com. If you live out in the woods like I do, out in the country with trees and lots of timber, uh, having a grapple is, is an awesome thing. If you want to move brush around, if you're wanting to cut firewood, having a, a, a grapple and a way to pick up stuff and, and mash down on it so you can move it is, is a tremendous benefit and it makes your tractor much more productive. And in the last couple of videos, I've talked about ways to make other tools a grapple. I've talked about uh, pallet fork out of grapples and, and loader bucket out of grapples. Today I'm going to talk about a full-fledged grapple and, and give you some tips and some thoughts about selecting one uh, if you're shopping for one uh, to make sure you get one that fits your tractor and fits your budget and, and does what you want it to do. First off today I want to talk about there's, there's really two styles of devoted grapples. And the one I've always sold it is, is a grapple that, that has a, uh, it's kind of a, a forks that go along the ground and you, and you get under the load and then you, your, your grapples come down and mash down on it and then you can move it. And I always preferred that style until I used this other style that I, I did in this video. The other style is kind of like a clamshell. It's, it's, it's called a grapple rake and there's, there's not forks that stick out on it. It just kind of goes along the ground and uses the bottom uh, parts of the grapple to, to rake your, your material forward and then you clamp down on it and move it. I've, I've always sold the grapples with the forks that stick out and uh, if, you, if you've got those they work great there's nothing wrong with them. I think I prefer the clamshell type for two reasons. Uh, number one they do a tremendous job of raking the ground. You can actually put the tips down in the ground just a little bit and really rake and get, get most of the material out. And the other thing is they take a little uh, less space in the shop if you want to store them in your shop over the winter. But they both, they both work great and the same principles apply to both. So let's look at what I did today. I used a precision six foot double ladder grapple. I did a video recently where I cut down a bunch of thorny locust trees with their tree shear and I didn't get back to clean that up for a while which was good for the demo and the grass grew up around these thorny locust trees and then I went back with the grapple rake and, and I dropped it down right right over the top of the ground just where the tips of the of the grapple were into the ground and moved forward and oh it did a tremendous job of raking the ground. It left almost no sticks whatsoever. I clamped down on it picked up a huge load and took it to the burn pile. Got rid of those thorny locust trees, the thorns and everything, and uh, it worked great. That's where a grapple shines. Um, also, going out in the woods, uh, if, you're, if you're wanting to um, a chainsaw and you have a log down somewhere and you want to just pick the log up and, and cut the ends off without getting the chainsaw down in the dirt, that's what I've always, I've always done it that way, where you're you're trying to uh, turn the log over and, and not get the chainsaw blade down in the rocks. Uh, you can pick up the log and, and saw it off and get it down to a five or six foot, I guess it would be a six foot uh, uh, log, and then uh, drop it on top of the, uh, the ones you've already cut and then cut it down smaller. So it works great for that too. Uh, if you want to dig a rock out of the ground, it can do that. Uh, probably probably be good at digging stumps out, small stumps. Um, I didn't use this one because it was on loan. It doesn't belong to me and I hate to use somebody else's uh, uh, grapple for that. But if you wanted to dig some small stumps out of the ground, it would probably do that. Uh, if you're wanting to just move around some fence posts or uh, do anything that requires clamping down on the load, you can, you can do that as well. So it, it's, a, it's a very versatile tool. Now I'm going to give you some tips today that you need to think about if you're trying to match your grapple to your tractor. First thing is, there's, a, there's kind of a rule of thumb, you don't want the weight of the grapple, the whole assembly, to be more than half of the lift capacity of your loader. And so, so watch that, you can get too big a grapple. When I first saw this grapple and how heavy it was and how well it was built, I thought it might be a little too heavy for my 40 horse tractor, but after using it, it was the perfect size. It was less than half and it picked up everything I wanted to pick up. Uh, the other thing is, you'll see uh, grapple rakes and, and grapples with, with one grapple or two grapples. Some, some have one in the middle and some have two. Uh, the advantages of, of two, usually the, the hydraulics are teed into one line, and so if you have an odd size log you're trying to pick up, it's bigger on one end than the other, what will happen is one grapple will come down around the, the big end and the other, will, and then the, the flow will, will shoot over because it's got resistance there to the other grapple 
grapple and it'll come down on the narrow end and you'll get a good grip on that so you can pick it up and move it wherever you want to. Having said that, really, a single grapple works in a lot of situations. And, and I, I used to remember when I was in the dealership world, guys would come in and want an 84-inch grapple or a 96-inch grapple, the, a wider grapple, and really all they needed was a six-foot grapple because when you think about it, uh, you're going to clamp it down in the middle and the ends can stick out and go wherever they want to. So if, if you're buying a loader bucket, you want it to cut out the width of your front tires. You want it to be wider than the width of your front tires uh, for getting dirt. But with a grapple, that really doesn't matter because it's going to pick it up in the middle and, and it can stick out on both ends. So a little way to save money, if you have a, a tractor and you, and, you, and you don't use a grapple that much and you want to save a little money, you can get a narrower grapple. Like instead of a, a six or a seven foot, you can get a five foot with a single grapple and move a lot of brush that way. Now it'll do better with the double grapple, but, but the single grapple will work. If you got a smaller tractor, you probably want to go with the smallest grapple you can so you're not taking up all the lift capacity of your loader uh, picking up the grapple. Last thing I want to talk about, we feed hay to horses in the winter. And I've looked for a way to get rid of that waste hay. And this grapple was amazing at doing that. And, and I had, I, I'd left a couple of, of uh, hay piles uh, from last winter uh, uh, on purpose. And uh, I had not used this type of grapple uh, when I started this. And so I came over and scraped at an angle, a right angle toward the, the, the hay pile. In other words, the the, uh, the hay bale had been north and south and I came in from the west and, and, and put my rakes down in the ground and picked up the hay and oh my goodness, it, it, once I clamped down, it didn't string any of that and I was surprised at how good a job it did. And I probably, had I been a little better operator and had a little more experience with the grapple, could have got it all in the first try. But I ended up coming back for a second try and then I got off the tractor and got the, the, the three or four piles that had just kind of strung out and, and put on there, but it did a tremendous job of cleaning up the waste hay. And um, one important thing to know about grapples is the wider the opening, and this one was a 50 inch opening, the more you can pick up. And the wider the opening, the more chance you have of picking up like a round bale. So the trick with this particular grapple, uh, how I'm going to use it, is, is picking up round bales in the winter by the top and then cutting the, the net off at the bottom so I can get the, I don't like leaving net on the bales and, and it, it getting wadded up in the waste hay. And so take it out and put it down. Then, then I can pick up the, the bale feeder, put over the bale, take the net off. And then I, what I'll probably do is leave uh, the pile that, that I took the, the hay feeder off and just leave it open and let horses kind of work around. They'll work around and need a little bit more of that and then uh, get, the, get the pile that was the bale before that one and clean it up because they're done with that. And I think that'll make my hay feeding and my cleaning my lot up when I'm done a lot easier and then come spring rather than having to clean all that stuff up, I'll just throw a bunch of grass seed out there and I'll have a nice uh, little area of grass where the hay bales were and, um, and I think that'll work out great. So you can use a grapple if it has a wide enough opening to move hay bales around and pick it up from the top cut the net wrap off and put it in and put the bale feeder around it and you're good to go. And then while you're leaving the lot, you can clean up your waste hay from two bales back. That's, that's what my plan is. So I think that'll work. I, I love using grapples. They're, they're a, a, a tremendous thing to put in your, in your tool shed and to have available. Uh, we've had some real major ice storms in the Ozarks and having a grapple around is, is, is a, a lifesaver when you've got a lot of limbs to pick up. If you missed my previous videos about grapples, you can watch them here. Here's the one about the pallet fork out of grapple that makes your pallet forks a grapple. Here's the one about the bucket out of grapple that makes your loader bucket a grapple. And if you'd like to order any of this stuff, the, the grapple I use today or any of these other two, go to my uh, website right here. Thanks for watching.